What's up, sir players? It's your homie C Rod back at it again with another video for you. And in today's video, we got the infamous Piccolo deck, which you guys know is the dual color blue green. And we also have Gogeta, which I am playing. I've been desperately been trying to figure out how to make a pretty good Gogeta deck. And after trials, trial and error, this is the new updated Gogeta that I have been working on. And honestly it's really 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 good but you know i'm also going against the beast piccolo that allows you to pretty much reveal one card from the top of your deck and choose to either draw it or put it under your deck and then draw a card and then you draw one for turn so it's very 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 good and gogeta if you guys don't know he has a pretty cool ability to drop a Goku or Vegeta BR from my hand to draw two and I can choose up to one to take my life as you guys can see I started off with a dual color energy and I start off by taking my life and drawing two by dropping the Vegeta and there you guys see on the left side we got the one using the ability to uh, choose to reveal draw or put under the deck he tosses out a dual color energy and then he just passes turn so I'm like alright he's gonna leave me some you know life I'm, i'll take it so then i'm like all right reveal the goku draw two and i take a life dropping myself from seven to six and then i use one energy since i have a dual color red yellow i get to pay just one energy for that beerus which is a 15k crit and duan takes it dropping himself down to seven and then i'm gonna pressure him some more and then duan takes that too so it's six to six just like that so duan uses the ability to reveal and he's looking at his hand. Does he want that card to his hand? And it looks like he's going to put that Vegeta the Crow that he just revealed under his deck. He draws one for a turn and then he draws another one. So Piccolo in essence draws you two cards. And for that reason is why Piccolo is such a very powerful deck. And then here we go. We got Duan. What is he going to toss out as energy? And to be honest, Duan is running a very unique build on the Piccolo deck. All I gotta say, it's pretty darn powerful. He tosses out a Tapion as energy, and I'm like, what the heck is this guy running in his deck? It makes no sense. I have no idea. I haven't seen this Piccolo build, and he passes turn. I'm like, oh, this guy's giving me some grace. I'll take it 100%. So here I go, toss out another energy, and I'm gonna toss out the Goku as energy, and then I'm gonna continue to pressure with my Beerus, and he has a Weez Corrosion that pretty much is a free negate because you get to restand an energy I use one energy one yellow energy to play trunks the cunning the reason I run trunks the cunning is because I do not want him to restand energy during his turn to make some very offensive sense of being plays so that's gonna prevent him from doing that unless he warps five from his drop area then I'm gonna pressure him some more and let's see what Duan does and Duan's gonna take it dropping himself to five so it's six to five right now I'm gonna leave two energies active just in case he plays something, because I do have the Nile of Hope in my hand, ready for that counter, you know, to put that card that he's playing to the drop area, nullifying any place he is trying to make. So, let's see what he does. I am feeling pretty confident right now. I'm like, alright, I haven't taken any lives. I've been in control of my own lives, taking my own lives, drawing like crazy, having a big fat hand. I have all energies red, allowing me to have counter plays. And Duan's tossing out of Vegeta the Cruel as energy. So then I'm like, alright, so he has three energies now. But what is he going to do? I know that a lot of people that run Piccolo like playing the Goku Black Zamasu engine. So I was expecting that. So for that reason, I have two energies active. And he just passes turn. I'm like, what? Duan literally just tosses out an energy, passes turn. He's going to let me keep my Beerus there. I have five energies now. I'm like, alright, I'm going to use... My Goku and Vegeta BR's ability, drop a Vegeta, draw two, and then I'm going to take my life, dropping myself to six to five, so it's five to five, and I'm in full control of my life at all times. I've been able to take my life when I want to. I attack with a 15k crit, and there goes another Whis Core Origin, or the Corrigion, I don't know how you say it, but whatever. <laughs> And uh, he negates the critical attack, so I'm going to pressure him some more. I'm attacking with Goku and Vegeta this time, and what is Duan going to do? It's looking like Duan's thinking very heavily on what he is going to do. And he's going to take the 5 and drop down to 4. 
So I'm like really confused right now. I'm like, what is this Piccolo player doing? What is Duan doing? I have no idea. This guy's literally letting me take all the attacks and I just pass turn. You know, I have a bunch of counter plays in my hand. I'm like, whatever he does this turn, I'm going to stop it 100%. I got all sorts of plays in my hand. And he tosses out uh, Goku Black as energy. And as I suspected, he did have the Goku Black Zamasu engine in his deck. So now is the first attack Duan does in the whole game. And it's looking like he's attacking my Beerus. And he's got a super combo because now he's at four lives or less. He gets to draw two and warp one away from his hand. So what is he going to warp away? Let's see. He's going to warp away the dual color Goku. That's what he's warping away. The dual color Goku, that's a two drop. So he goes 22, my 15k. I'm trying to see if he's going to combo any more. And... It's looking like that's all he's going to do. So I'm like, 20? I'm going to combo the Trunks the Cunning to keep this 15k crit, keeping the pressure. And I'm going to combo the Goku. So now I have a yellow and a red. So I'm able to arrival because I have a yellow and a red in the combo area. I'm able to arrival for two energies, the Beerus, which is a 25k beater. And then he's going to use two energies to play. Goku, and this is where I should have used Denial of Hope, but I do not think I use Denial of Hope. I think I go for the draw instead. I play Chompa the Trickster. <coughs> <coughs> Chompa the Trickster puts it in rest mode and I draw a card. The reason I did this is because I wanted to draw, but then now he has that Goku that is a pretty much a instant negate. That Goku, whenever I attack with a battle card that has six cost or less, he's able to pop it and bring it back to life and negate an attack. So now I have uh, a Whis as energy. I got three yellows, two reds as energy, three of them being a uh, dual color energy. I toss out a Goku or Vegeta BR. I draw two and I take my life, dropping myself down to four. And the reason I do this is because I want to awaken. I have five energies. I could do one big explosive play. I got a bunch of battle cards on the field and he is still not even awakened. He awakens with Surge, which is the new mechanic where you put one blue and one green under it to awaken. And I'm going to use four, five energies, guys, to make my big Omega Ultimate Secret Rare. I'm revealing. I'm like, any response upon reveal. He says, no response. I play it. And upon play, this guy allows me to minus his leader. This is the secret rare, guys, just to, to, to you know, clarify. I'm playing the secret rare, his activate main for five energies. I'm able to play him out. He reduces the leader, minus 30,000. And on top of that, he has the crazy ability of offering, which he chooses to create a life or draw two. And if he chooses to not have him come out onto the field, he takes three lives, dropping himself down to one. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, He's going to choose to minus him by 30,000. So now that, so he let it go off. So it's looking like he's going to minus 30,000. And offering, I get to draw two cards because of the offering ability, which is very powerful. And now Piccolo is minus 30,000 power. So my 15k crit Beerus is going to do really, really big damage. And he's going to pop the Goku and bring it back with revive by dropping a dual color energy which is blue green so i'm like oh damn this guy's actually surviving so then i'm like all right let me go in with a 15k attack and duan is gonna respond with what is he gonna respond with he only has two green energies guys two green energies meaning he cannot use Wii's coercion and he's got a super combo and try to survive this 15k to his negative 20k right now he's at negative 20k and since he's comboed he's at negative 10k right now to my 15k positive 15k attack i know math kind of gets kind of weird he super combos just to draw him warp one and he takes the hit dropping himself down to three then i'm going to attack with beers he's a 25k this time so this 25k to his minus 20k is going to be very lethal right now. 
and he only has two green energies, meaning he cannot use Wheat's Core Origin. He cannot use any of those cards that, uh, oh, but he does use Dimension Magic, and he's going to take a life, guys. This guy is playing a Dangerous, and he drops himself down to two lives. So now he's at double strike range, and I'm like, all right. So then I'm going to attack with the Secret Rare, see if I could drop him down to one. He's a 40,000k attack, guys. This is a pretty hefty attack considering the fact that his Piccolo right now is minus 30,000, meaning he's negative 20,000. And look at my hand, guys. I have a pretty fat hand to combo in and go for game. I'm like, damn, I want to go for game so badly. Unfortunately, I wish I had a double strike Champa in my hand. I do run double strike Champa in my deck, but I do not have it in hand. If not, I would have awakened and added that double strike to solidify this final attack. And he does have his energies back to active, so he can use Whis Corrigan, and he can use those cards. And it's looking like he's going to try to out-combo this. And he's he comboed a 10k, making him 10, positive 10k, I mean negative 10k, sorry about the math. So he's negative 10k, he's going to arrival, draw three cards, I mean he's going to surge awaken, draw three cards, and restand one of his energies. He's going to super combo, draw two more cards, so he's at... He's at 5k right now. And then he's going to use another energy. So he's at 5k. He's at 15k right now. So this is 15k to my 40k right now. So he is at positive 15k. So he's pretty much base power right now. He's at 15k. And my battle card is at 40k. And it's looking like he's going to try to survive this big heavy attack. So sorry about this. We were trying to do the math here. I was this close to taking out a calculator because for some reason, neither I or Derwan were able to do math at that moment. But we ended up clarifying that he is at 15k right now. He is at that base power 15k. And I have no idea why Dewan decided to try to all combo this. And if you guys see, he ended up using his blue energy to combo out of these attacks instead of leaving the blue energy active which I have no idea why he did that. He should have left the blue energy active just in case he had sensor bean or something, but we'll see what ends up happening here. It looks like he's gonna try to all combo this. So he's at positive 15 right now, and he and he has another negate in hand, so he kind of messed up by tapping out the blue energy. But Duan's thinking heavily right now. He's like, damn, how do I survive this pretty big attack? of 40,000 to be able to survive. So far, duan has been doing pretty good to survive my onslaught of attacks, and he goes 25. He's at 25k power right now to my 40k, 25. His hand's getting smaller, guys. His hand is getting really smaller, 25. What is Duan gonna do? He's thinking heavily right now. This is the hardest part in Dragon Ball Super Card Game. A uh, quick tip right now. The hardest part is calculating your comboing. Because comboing in this game is one of the biggest ways you could either win or you could either lose. You gotta do correct math calculations to survive. It's looking like he's using the Piccolo ability to detach and play an extra energy. And he's gonna use two energies to go 25, 35, 45. And he survived the attack. Just like that. And he still has one energy active. So he was able to survive that onslaught of attacks. I'm making the calculations. I'm like, did this guy really survive this big heavy attack of my 40k secret rare baby Janimba? And is looking like he did. I'm like, holy cow, that was I was really hoping he was gonna take that one life. Alright, so he survived that attack. I'm like, okay. Okay, so then I'm like, what do I do now? I'm thinking, what do I do now? I have no idea. I guess I'm gonna have to awaken, restand one of my dual color energies, and draw one card. I'm at four lives, guys. He's at two lives. I got a pretty fat hand. I'm checking my drop, make sure I have two Gokus and two Vegetas so I can activate my Goku uh, uh, Gogeta's ability now to give him double strike and finish the job. I'm going to attack with my Gogeta, and there goes the negate. And I'm like, oh my god, he had the negate. He, he, the reason I think he used the two energies is to mind trick me, mean, show, like thinking that he, I didn't have, that he didn't have a negate so I could 
you know, go all in. And unfortunately, he did trick me by leaving those two green energies active. I'm like, this guy has no negates. I'm going to go all in right now. And I put all my cards on the line. But I still have a fat hand, guys. I still have a fat hand. I'm feeling pretty safe. I got four lives. I have a fat hand. If he uses the Piccolo ability to try to uh, uh, warp two, I'm like, I got such a fat hand. I am big time chilling. So I combo out of that 15k attack. He's attacking me with the Goku. That Goku did save him. I should have denied the hope that Goku instead of chomping. But I wanted to pressure him. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. This is where the tide of battle turns. He gets the 15k Goku. He gets the 15k Vegeta. He crits his life. Drops himself down to one. Look at my beautiful hand, guys. Look at that fat hand. It goes all into the deck when Gogeta comes out onto the field. I shuffle my deck and I only draw three cards. And he has a triple strike on the field. And this is gonna hurt. I was feeling super safe. And just like that, I'm like, please draw into Negate. And I drew into a Negate, guys. I drew into, is that all you got? He's going to use the Piccolo ability to make me warp too. But no, guys, he did it. I'm like, look, I had the Negate. I had the Negate. And I attack. He's attacking me with the Toa that makes me drop one card from my hand. And I draw one card. If this was a Negate from my life, I would have survived. I dropped myself down to three. He attacks me with a Triple Strike. All I drew is went into an Ape. And just like that, Duan with one life took out four lives in one turn. Gogeta is way better than my secret rare. It was able to solidify the job, and I'm like, ah, oh, good games. And just like that, he took me out. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this battle. Shout out to Duan for killing it. He obliterated me. I was for sure feeling super safe i thought i had it but this guy flipped it on me i did not expect gogeta to come out of nowhere if not i would have taken my lives i would have played it at high life instead but that's how the game works like comment subscribe like always and like we always say y'all stay super